So I'm here to talk about a almost two decade old anime that I finished watching um, quite a while ago. And uh, but I forgot to give my analysis and my opinion on it. Um, it's called a uh, Death Note. Uh, I'm going to put in a spoiler warning, but I don't know if I really if it's really going to be effective because most people probably would have watched it, but I'll do it just in case. Um, so, as you know, the story of Death Note is a, is about a boy named uh, Light Yagami who, like, is on the verge of finishing high school, and then he comes across a notebook that where he suddenly can control everybody's fate. Um, this notebook, it's like you write someone's name down, and then you specify the cause of death. Um, if there's no specification as to what is the cause of death, that person will die in, with a heart attack within 40 seconds. So like, um, then, you know, Light finds the notebook, he begins having this plan to write everybody's name down, like that all the criminals in the world, and he he goes pretty far at it. And then eventually the authorities try to stop him. It's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty wild, like, you know, race with like a lot of like things going on. Until the end when Light actually dies and when he fails to keep his secrecy, basically. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, like about the overall like storyline, you know, like about Light's development of the character. Um, I find, you know, in the beginning, Light was a good person, similar to, um, if you know Breaking Bad, Walter White, you should know that show, show because him and Aaron Paul, Brian, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul just made a Popcorners video inspired by Breaking Bad, so I'm sure you would know it, um, but no worries if you don't. The point is, like, those two people, Light Yagami, he started off as a good person. Um, and then he came across the Death Note, and he originally had good intentions. He, uh, I, he had like um, he he wanted to just get rid of all the bad guys in the world, uh, and as L described it, L and law enforcement, um, his sort of idea was childish because killing is still evil in nature. Simple as that, and like. Even in like episode three, he he still Light still had a good overall like attitude. You know, he was 17 years old, just about to finish high school. And I remember toward the end, the Shimagami who owned the Death Note uh, gave him an offer. The offer was you can have Shimagami eyes, but in return, you will lose one half of your remaining lifespan. At the time, Light politely declined this offer because he said, I want to live as long as I can to protect the good people and to kill as many bad guys as I can. So he still had a good intention. By episode four, this was when I slowly started to notice Light's attitude change just slightly. You know, toward the... um. Actually, no, not, not, episode, not episode four. Uh... I think early when like when the authorities said they would be like hunting down Light or Kira, like that's what their um, name for him was. Like at the time, L brought in his, I think it was his doppelganger. It was Lind L. Taylor. And then Light had a sense of arrogance, which, you know, is a bad human characteristic. And then he was like, ha, I'll just get rid of the authorities at any time possible. And then he just opens up his notebook and then like writes his name down. At thinking the at was the end of it, but no, it was not. But then in like you know episode four, light became even more like you know manipulative, thinking, oh, I will have to make sure to kill Ray Pember, the guy who is like you know spying on me. And then in episode seven, it was completely, completely gone. Like, all of Light's goodness. Um, after, like, you know, blackmailing Ray Pember, he was like, you know, this, you see that man over there working in a pen coffee shop? He said that, he said that to Ray. And then he killed that man working in a coffee shop in front of Ray because, you know, that man, like, had a bunch of um, crimes he was being charged with but just wasn't being convicted. And then, like, you know, he, he made Ray follow a bunch of orders before finally killing Ray himself. 
And like, you know, that's probably understandable because otherwise Light would have been identified. I supported Light all the way until episode eight when... um. When he also killed um, Ray Pember's wife, Naomi Mizora. Um, you know, like, I basically supported him until he started, like, killing people who would just get in his way. And eventually, you know, he started getting more and more evil and manipulative. And um, by episode 10, he, be he developed the full 100% status of a liar. And he was like, ha. Huh, you know, Ella's is sur surveilling me, fine. And he uses his arrogance and says, ha, I'll eat potato chips with my right hand and I'll write names on my left hand. Elle can't catch me, like, like that. And then, you know, he um gradually got worse and worse. Um, I think um in episode, like eventually, you know, he, he became more and more manipulative. Like, you know, um, the person, one of the people, Misa Misa, um, you know, Light actually originally helped her because Light killed her parents. Um, Light killed her... No, not not like... Light killed the bad guy that killed her parents. But then, like, you know, when she came to... Um, when she came to, like, you know, see him for guidance, to her, Light was... No, to, to Light, you know, Misa was just more than a tool, you know? Like, just some someone he could use. And then he's like, he'd tell her, yeah, I'd love you and such, but I need you to do these things for me and all that. And like, um, he and uh, another girl, like his, his ex-girlfriend, I think it was um, my Kodo or something like that. Um, you know, she was a very nice person, but then, you know, Light convinced her that he is no longer with Misa and Ame. And, you know, so my Kodo thought Light was just seeing her while Misa thought that Light was just seeing her. So he was cheating on these two girls as well. And by episode 35, I completely lost it with this guy. Like any hope of a happy ending for this person, it's gone completely. Um, in that episode, you remember where um, Mello, like, you know, traps Light some, um, not, I was going to say girlfriend, but that's not exactly the case, traps uh, Mykoto, and then, like, you know, she Light tells her to do a bunch of things, like, and which she all obeys obediently. And then in the end, after she kills Melo, she tells Light, you're going to save me, right? Are you? And then she's, like, desperate for a sign that like, she had tears coming out of her eyes. And guess what? Light just kills her. Like, you know, he, he, he she, she was disposable to him because he couldn't find, use her, find her for any other use. And then he's like, you know, fearing that she would identify him to the authorities, he just gave her up. And, like, uh, thankfully, thank, it was Light's sort of arrogance and his own ignorance that always led to his downfall. And by thir see, um, episode 37, the very last episode, you know, he didn't realize that Mir and Mello had alternated both copies of the Death Note. And um, that, so when, like, he wrote all of the authorities' names, it was completely useless. Like, you know, a full minute passed and none of them died. And so it was every time it was Light's own arrogance that, like, sort of, you know, put him in the bad spot. The, um... You know, there was also like, uh, you know, for example, in episode one, or episode one or three, I can't remember exactly which one, Lind L. Taylor, you know, he killed Lind L. Taylor thinking that he got rid of L, like that, as if it would be that easy, then like the show would already be over. Um, you know, then like uh, another time where he thought simply, where he simply, he thought simply changing the killing time, the times when he killed, would make the authorities believe that it wouldn't be him. Um, because remember in season one, episode two, Elle came up with the idea that Kira was possibly a student because, um, because like uh, just the way the times that the murders took place, essentially. And, um, you know, that so then you know, Light tried to contradict that immediately. And then that led Elle to thinking, okay, so 
this is a student and someone who has access to our documents, which gives us a possibility of 141 people and like, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> and even the last episode when Light changed both copies of the death note thinking that nobody would catch him. Well, yeah, it, it happened. Um, like Breaking Bad, I think like the um, death note is a perfect example, an illustration of compound effect to its finest. Um, I did mention compound effect briefly in one of my previous videos, but in case you guys haven't watched it, I'll just um I'll just illustrate it again. So the compound effect basically says that doing one single action by itself will not have that much of an effect. But when these actions are accumulated, then the effect will gradually start to build. Um, it's like if, um, it's like, you know, how like husbands cheat on their wives. It starts off with, you know, a simple text message from another coworker or friend. Then maybe it's like, you know, the husband just, you know, walks, holds hands with his wife, but gradually looks at other women, you know, that's step two, but he's still with his wife. So what's the big deal? Then it's like he says to his coworker, hey, do you want to hang out and have dinner together? He maybe takes her home. Next thing you know, he's in bed with her and he's cheating on his wife. This is an exact this is an example of the compound effect. Same thing here with uh, Light Yagami. When Light acquired the death note and he started um writing people's names down, he knew what he did was a crime. He knew what he did was a crime. And, you know, like, and because, like, you know, he had to lie to the authorities in order to not get arrested, he developed this trait of lying. This was the first part of the compound effect. Um, you know, then it, then it built and built. Um, and, like, um, it got him to where he was in episode 37. I think it was a very good thing that he was caught because if... Um, if Light wasn't caught, I I really highly believe he would have become a dictator, not a man of justice. Um, and like, he should have at and like you know it's really shame the way he died. Like, um, because the span of the story lasted six years, so it meant Light was twenty three when he finally got caught, and like he died. You know, Ryuk wrote his name in the death note. At the age of 23, he could have, you know, went to study law in university. He could have, you know, become, he'd become a police officer. He probably could have become a very good police officer or detective and probably would have, you know, had a very good girlfriend, you know, like he's all the things a girl's looking for, tall, handsome, gets good grades, smart, all those things. And, but instead he chose to pursue the death note. And as it was mentioned in the show, the death note brings great misfortune to anyone who stumbles upon it. It was so sad in the end, like, you know, when um, Matsuda, like, shot him, because Matsuda, like, in, as you know in the story, Matsuda, like, is one of those more comical characters, somewhat one of the more immature people, the, the type of person who everyone would order to get, get them a cup of coffee. And in the end, he was like, Light, you deserve to die. He said it in a very, and you can hear the hurt in his voice and all that. Um, and that that's pretty big because just to know that, like, one of the more, more outgoing, you know, one of the more closer friends with Light could react like that. Imagine how everybody else felt. Uh, like I think as Light, and in the few moments, like Light finally turned back to a good guy, and he was like, he was stumbling in pain. He was like, ah. He wish, wishing he had never come across the death note and think of all the times that he was a good person. Yeah. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, I'm going to tell you why, like, why it's what Light was doing was bad, even when I supported him up until episode eight. So as you know, Light kills any person he deems to be a bad guy. And I'm going to put bad guy in quotation marks. The point being that one of the reasons why it's wrong is because law enforcement doesn't kill them for a reason, you know, like, um, 
one of the like some of the men he killed they were awaiting execution um but you know there there i think there was some like or maybe a jury or something the police obviously have to gather evidence right like you know they can't immediately convict someone so th there was a great possibility that light killed somebody who um like killed somebody in prison who actually was wrongfully convicted. So that was one of the reasons why it's not good. You know, another thing is that in, in Light's mind, when he set up this original mission, there was no sign, there was no definition of forgiveness in what he was doing. Like one of the things that the, um, one of the things that like um, being a Christian says is that, People deserve to be forgiven because everybody makes mistakes. If you only judge people based on their worst moment, and then everybody should go to hell, essentially. Um, point being that, you know, maybe that person who did the murdering, you know, maybe he's learned his lesson. Maybe he actually became a good person. We don't know that for sure. But by, like, killing him, like, immediately... We'll never know for sure, and maybe Light killed off an innocent person. And like, um, you know, so there, there's no, there's no chance of redemption when you're with him. And also, like, you know, yeah. So basically, you know, awaiting trial. For me, if it were up to me, like, I wish I would have wished that like the show did a little better job of interspersing some of the scenes of the bad guys that were being killed like i i really wish the creator would have showed us an uh like a segment where a bad guy was a grandfather who's changed his life so much for the better and you know he's visiting his grandson and when he suddenly gets a heart attack because light wrote his name it's like but in reality this man had changed so much for the better he's like you know i i really regret who i was before you know yeah um what like regardless anyway like you know what light did wasn't good maybe even in episode one it still wasn't good like you know um i understand that he did it because of self-defense where like um three motorbike bad guys were about to rape a woman and uh, like just as the guy was like unloosening her belt buckle right light wrote his name down if light in the very beginning had like you know turned himself over to his dad and such he could have his dad would have like you know supported him or maybe scolded him but then they could have worked out a case of legitimate self-defense so that this wouldn't have happened you know because self-defense is a valid reason for killing someone so then he could could have gotten away with it for good and then he and his dad could have came up with a sort of a better solution you know maybe one that's more obedient with the law and such so and also like the um the ending i liked breaking bad a little more than death note just because it gave the reader more time to absorb what was going on like for me the ending was too subtle um you know it showed him getting shot running across to an abandoned warehouse and then dying um, you know, it didn't show like, you know, the grief his, you know, his, uh, his dad was already dead at that point, the grief his mother and sister had that, you know, the mother, I would, I would have, I would have liked to seen a segment where the mother was like, uh, my son lights. Yeah, I do feel regret about it. I, as a mother, I, I, I forgive him it. or so, something like that, or maybe the, um, seen a segment where near and all the other authorities were like oh, I, it's really a, such a shame to see that the bad guy was him you know like it, it the ending was too subtle for me um yeah I, I wish it would have been more like breaking bad where you fully see walter white separate from his family and such in death note i wish it would like you would have seen a scene where light and his family get together or such just something less subtle yeah. Overall, the show was great. It had intense moments. It shows you the overall um, overall development of Light as a character from 17 to 23, which that was very nice to see. 
So in the end, I'm going to rate it a 7.75 out of 10, which it's it's highly reputable and uh, it's good. And just some minor improvements could have made it better, like the some scenes where some bad guys are actually good guys or they have some form of redemption and a better ending. Yeah. But uh, that's all I have for my insight here. Let, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'll see you next time.